13 millimeter socket, remove these bolts. You wanna make sure you have a drain pan underneath to catch the fluid. And before I take them all out, I will leave just one of these. I'll leave this one just loose like that so that it doesn't fall all of a sudden. You're gonna start seeing fluid come out. I'm gonna pry this down a little bit. Let that drain out for a little while. Okay, now I'll take that one out and tip it down some more. Do it nice and slow. Really get a lot of fluid coming out. There's still two bolts in the back. Just let that drip out for a little bit. Now I'll take these last two out. Just make sure you support the pan. Just grab the pan and just slide it up. You can drain the rest of the fluid. Pull the filter down, just grab it, twist it a little bit back and forth as you pull down. It slides right down. Now we're gonna replace this seal. Take either a punch or a small screwdriver and just try to punch it out a little bit so that you can grab it with some needle nose pliers. And there we go, just like that. Now I'm gonna take the new seal. I'm gonna use an 18 millimeter socket just to punch it back in, just to line it up. And just give it a couple taps. So I take the filter, just put a little bit of transmission fluid on the top just so it slides into the seal a little better. And line it up. And push it in. It should lock in place and that looks good right there. And I'll line this up. It is slightly easier if you take some of these bolts and get those started in the gasket before you put the pan up and get all the bolts started. Now I'm gonna use a torque wrench and torque this to 11.8 foot pounds. And I'm gonna torque them alternating side to side just to tighten it down evenly. Now I'll take the dipstick out and that's where we're gonna add the transmission fluid. I'm gonna use a funnel and add the appropriate type of fluid. You can start with four or four and a half quarts and then check it and just adjust accordingly. Put the dipstick back in, start it up, I'll run it through the gears and then check the level. Now pull the dipstick out. You want to wipe it down first, reinsert it, and pull it out again, and then you can check, and there's a hot area and a cold area. We want it in that cold area right now while it's still cold, so we might have to add about a half a quart to get it closer to the middle. And then once, once the vehicle is warmed up, check it again and make sure it's in between the hot area. 